my presentation is on Clarence L. Kelly Johnson. He's more well known as Kelly Johnson. And the main thing he was known for in his lifetime was being the chief engineer of Lockheed Martin, uh, specifically the special division known as the Skunk Works. So there's a picture of him on the left there. Uh, he lived from 1910 to 1990. Uh, he was uh, a few other things at Lockheed, but he was most well known for being the chief engineer of the Skunk Works, as I just mentioned. Uh, and that was a secret division of aerospace engineers tasked with making a bunch of special projects, pretty much. Uh, he was very well known for his ability to design different aircraft. And uh, among his workers at Lockheed, he was more well known for being an amazing leader there as well. Um, and it actually kind of shocked me at first whenever I was telling people uh, who I was doing for this project. Uh, the amount of people that just don't know who Kelly Johnson is, that have never heard of his name. Um, and I understand a lot of this stuff is classified, but um, very well known, received a lot of awards. Uh, but yeah, uh, the history of the Skunk Works uh, started off. Johnson was hired in 1933. By 1943, he had been tasked by the Army Air Forces to create the XP-80, just a jet fighter, and they came out with the XP-80. Um, it was first known as the Advanced Development Program and then evolved into the Skunk Works. And the reason it's actually called the Skunk Works uh, here is uh, there was a comic strip, Will Abner, and uh, there were hillbillies in that comic strip that were grinding up skunks and old shoes. You can imagine the smell. So whenever they were assembling the XP-80, across from that facility was a... Um, a, a, a plastics facility, like a plastics factory, and it was obviously a bad smell. So a joke was made there, the name stuck. That was what it was named officially, and it's still known as. Um, so Kelly Johnson at Lockheed, uh, as I said, he was hired in 1933. Five years after his employment, he became the chief research engineer. By 1952, he was the chief engineer as a whole. By 1956, he was the corporate vice president for research and development. So he rose through the ranks pretty quickly. Um, he was a clever engineer, very smart person, great with designing the planes. Uh, but uh, along with that, he exhibited amazing leadership. Um, and a lot of what he worked on was and still is classified. We don't know much about it. And I'll show you some of that stuff in the next few slides. Um, a lot of it is not accessible. So. His contributions at Lockheed and why he is important. Uh, it involves a lot of the aircraft that he helped develop. Uh, he helped develop over 40, but uh, here are some of the ones that he was more well known for. P-38, famous World War II fighter. Um, the XP-80, I already showed that. The pictures will cut off, but I already showed that one. You know what it looks like if you slide back. Um, first jet fighter for the Americans, later became the P-80. Um, the F-104, uh, very interesting plane, uh, kind of known as the uh, man in a missile, not really very maneuverable. Uh, and then later on in Skunk Works, what made Skunk Works so important is the development of stealth aircraft, the very special projects. Um, first off with that, here's the F-17 there on the bottom. Uh, just very stealthy able to take pictures. And then another plane, the first stealth plane that they made actually was the U-2. That was a contract that Kelly Johnson had taken uh, from Lockheed. And he was supposed to, or from the government, and he was supposed to make that thing in eight months. He did it in nine. That's insane to have designed an aircraft that is so unique. Um, I would recommend looking that up by itself. It's a very fascinating plane. And of course, the SR-71, everybody knows the SR-71, so I'm not going to explain much. Uh, it can go up to Mach 3. Um, and then why he is important as a whole. It's because uh, the, the aircraft that he made have been crucial in American history. U-2, Cold War. Um, SR-71, it took a lot of pictures. It's crazy the pictures that that thing can take. And his leadership and... Uh, the creation of Skunk Works led to the B-2 Spirit and the F-22 being produced, which are still today doing a lot of amazing things. And uh, here's my sources. That's pretty much everything on Kelly Johnson. 
and thank you for watching.